how do you quit smoking? I'm gonna give you a checklist of things that you can try that I've noticed some of my patients have used and have actually been successful in quitting smoking. Number one would be to start changing from regular cigarettes to e-cigarettes. Now, e-cigarettes are not health food, but they are a lot healthier than regular cigarettes. I wouldn't even consider them healthier. I would consider them less bad. It's like the difference between doing methamphetamines by injecting it into your lungs and having alcoholism. Neither are good, but one is, quite frankly, worse off than the other. One will kill you faster than the other. So cigarettes are, of course, bad. You don't need me to tell you that. But if you were to transition to e-cigarettes, they're less harmful to the lungs than normal cigarettes. The second thing that you can try are the patches. Now patches, uh, of course, are called nicotine patches and various, there's various brands. But what that is, is you're getting the nicotine into you without actually going into your lungs and getting all that tar. So that's another option. Another option that people don't think about, and this is number three, is acupuncture. There are places on the ear where if you put a needle or a pebble or a, like a BB on the earlobe exactly in the right acupuncture spot, then what you can do is every time you have a craving, you simply squeeze that area and the cravings go down. This has been something that I've seen time and time again. One of my best friends in chiropractic also went back to school, became an acupuncturist, and he has told me numerous stories about how he can simply find the exact spot, use a needle, also give the person the BB and they squeeze their ear and the cravings go down and reduces the, the ability of that addiction to take hold of the person. The last thing that you have to do is, if those things aren't helping, is to get medical attention. This would be number four. To get medical attention, there are drugs out there that will help reduce the cravings and help people get off cigarettes. That's something you'd have to talk to your medical doctor about. The last thing I wanna do, and this is number five, is to realize, and people don't think about it this way, but cigarettes, you're addicted to cigarettes. You're an addict, no more than, or no less than anyone who has an alcohol addiction, that has an addiction to uh, drugs, such as methamphetamines or cocaine. In fact, there have been numerous studies that have shown that people can get off methamphetamines, they can get off cocaine, they can get off alcohol. One of the hardest things to get rid of is the cigarettes. In fact, just a quick story, one time I had a patient in my office and it was one of the, it was near the new year and I just kind of asked, hey, do you have any new year's resolutions? And he says, yeah, I'm gonna try to quit smoking. And I said, hey man, that's awesome, good for you. And I, we talked about how you're gonna do it and I told him, I said, you know, it's kind of interesting. I've heard that cigarettes are the most difficult addiction to get rid of, and, and it's even harder than meth. And he goes, yeah, I know about that. And I went, what? Well, this was a meth addict that recovered, got off meth. He was in recovery for a number of years, but he still had trouble with cigarettes. And that shows you how addictive cigarettes can be. I don't know what they're putting in that cigarette that makes you so addicted. It can't be the nicotine because that would be a simple solution. There are chemicals in these cigarettes that are far beyond what we can all imagine and these are highly addictive. It's one of the most difficult things to get rid of. Another option, and this happens to a lot of people that are cigarette smokers, is you have to understand if you're a cigarette smoker, you're an addict. And very often, addicts need another addiction. That's why you hear of people that they stop smoking but they take up painting or they take up running or they take up cycling or they take up some activity, golf, that they just become addicted to that. Now I think it's a lot healthier to be addicted to golf than it would be to be to cigarettes. But in the old days, and I think it was in the 70s, if, if some of the people that are older can remember, there was a guy by the name of Jim Fix and he was famous for writing a book on running and what ended up happening was he was a smoker for many decades prior to becoming a runner. Well, he quit smoking, started running, got healthy, supposedly, and uh, wrote the first book on running. The problem was all that smoking took its toll on his lungs. He eventually died of a heart attack. But nonetheless, he literally went from the addiction of smoking 
to the addiction of running. And again, if you're going to choose your poison, choose something that's healthier. Now, if you thought this video was interesting, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions at all, ask in the comment section below. If you yourself have been successful quitting cigarettes, let other people know in the comment section to let them know because it just might help them out. Thanks for watching.